What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this car cast. I'm, gonna, I'm having to do a, an intro this way around because um, I'm going to have to do the main video with the camera facing the other way, i.e. so you see what uh, the road is like ahead of me. And the reason for that is the case uh, that I've got my, my phone in. Um, I can't really take it out of the case. It uh, doesn't seem well designed for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, enough of that. Let's just get to the main uh, event. Okay, here we go. to Plimstock. I'm going to pick up a anniversary card. It's my anniversary soon. Um, it's my daughter's birthday first. We've got that all sorted but um, yeah so my anniversary and there's a book in a bookshop I saw yesterday out there which I hope is still there. I'd like to get it for my one. Might be something she likes. She, she loves reading and all different things. So I would like to get it for her. Thing with the uh, charity shops and books these days is it's so cheap to get books, and uh, you can get yourself quite a formidable library these days. <coughs> It's like these, this is called the Narrows. This is Lara Narrows and it's 20 mile an hour through here, so. Gotta drive real slow. Do you get to the end here where that van is just coming up to? No, it's 30. It goes back to a, a normal 30 mile an hour speed limit. Although, you know, it's wise not to go too fast though, through there anyway. So yeah. Um, by now, Probably all know I no longer work for Royal Mail. Well, I no longer work for Royal Mail in um, the role I was in anyway. I'm still trying to um, sort out if there's something else I can do in Royal Mail at the time of recording, and I don't know that. So at the time of recording, yeah, I'm still employed by Royal Mail, but um, I'm not able to do the delivery role as I've explained previous videos so I won't, I won't go into that too much suffice to say um, I'm still in the process of healing and um, yeah and so I need to get that sorted um, ASAP really screen a bit. It seems a bit grubby. Show on camera but
my like my look and top PQ and couple of years ago now I think it was. There's a bridge that we'll be going over that I I walked across and I didn't walk across the bridge I'm driving over. Oh excuse me. I, there's a bridge adjacent to it which is for um, cyclists and pedestrians. Which used to be actually a physically yeah you know as I said in the past it, it caused me to collapse and have a complete physical shutdown so I'm actually wearing a cap right now so I've got a hat on my hat goes off to all postmen and women out there because you've got to do it in a certain time you've got to like everything these days, you have time limits and targets, and you've got to do it quick. You've got to all but run with the, with the mail, it's just ridiculous. I know there are certain rounds and routes where you don't need to do that, but my goodness. My goodness, you don't, uh, you don't have the luxury of uh, taking your time. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so... There you go. Just waiting at the lights here now on that bridge I was talking about just now. Yeah, so I'm still healing. Physically... I just get so weary now. It, it's the after effects with my MS is still affecting me. It's... I can't believe how I got into such a false sense of security with with it. It's because of the technique I use to kind of deal with MS. I, I kind of ignore it. Uh, trouble is that leads you, misguides you into thinking that you are invulnerable. You're just a normal, healthy person when, in fact, you are not. It did help me deal with it. That does help me deal with it. That is the way I continue to deal with it. But I now have a newfound knowledge for my limitations. So, physical work. Got to watch out for that. It's a pity um, that jobs, employers, if an employer can't, um, you know, take me on and appreciate me for my excellent brain, which I have, then it means I've got to now take a menial job that isn't going to kill me. So, and that's the way, you know, you know, whatever, such is life, as I say. And it's looking dark and overcast, that's not good. I've got my raincoat though, just in case, so yeah. But we're nearly there, so. Uh, successful car cap. 
podcast it will be it came out here yesterday this is when I noticed the car and we got I got like um, a birthday card for my wife not only an anniversary card now because it's the same day you used to see me same day Do not look promising. Not promising at all. Yeah, well. It wasn't actually very busy here yesterday. I'm hoping it won't be today. People crossing. Let's go. That's fine. This is the Broadway in Plymouth Stock. Much of a visual, I know, looking at a, uh, <laughs> a wall, but um, yeah, it's the end of my journey. I will say thank you for watching. Remember, all brushes lead to war, and I'll see you on the next video. Um, hopefully, I can get back into it more as I start to heal and um, uh, and all the rest of it. So, um, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, all brushes lead to war, and uh, bye for now. Bye bye.